Your podcast's greatest asset isn't your content, it's your community. Without them, your show is just another voice in the void. So let's turn listeners into loyal advocates who fuel your growth. Producing great content is only half the battle. The most successful podcasts today are the ones that not only deliver valuable content, but also build and engage with a dedicated community of listeners. In today's competitive podcasting landscape, growth isn't just about being heard. It's about connecting more deeply with your audience, meeting their needs, and creating a sense of belonging. The stronger the community you build, the more sustainable your podcast growth will be. There are countless podcasts out there all competing for the same listeners. The ones that stand out, though, are the ones that cultivate a strong and engaged community. And there are many paths to podcasting growth, whether through social media engagement or joining podcasting networks. At the core of any successful strategy, it's about building your community your way. And that's what transforms casual listeners into loyal advocates. Let's talk about why community engagement is so important. When you engage with your audience on a personal level, you're not just building listeners, you're creating a loyal fan base. And these loyal listeners are the ones that will share your podcast with their friends, promote it on their social media, and help you grow through word of mouth, the most important metric for podcasts. And by identifying and serving the underserved niches, you're able to tailor your content to specific audiences that might not be getting the attention they deserve. When you create content that speaks directly to their needs, you're setting yourself apart from the crowd. And one of the best ways to foster engagement is through just interacting with your audience, Q&A episodes, listener call-ins, or even integrating audience feedback into your show can create a two-way conversation with your listeners. By making your audience feel involved or heard, you're strengthening the connection. And when listeners feel heard and valued, they're more likely to stick around and become long-term supporters. And once you find that niche, create content that speaks directly to their interests and concerns. This deeper connection with your audience is what keeps them coming back and makes them more likely to recommend your show to others. Beyond just producing great content, there are several strategies to further engage your communities and grow your podcasts. Easy ones, social media and online communities. Use your platforms like Instagram, Twitter, or Reddit to engage with your audience beyond just your podcast. Discord's a good one too. Join or create online communities where your listeners can connect with each other and with you. Maybe host live events and meetups. Hosting live events, whether in person or even virtually, can take your connection with your audience to a whole other level. And these events help to build stronger bonds with your listeners and create a sense of community around the podcast. How about joining a podcast network? Joining a network can also be a growth strategy. Networks provide increased exposure, resources, and even potential monetization opportunities. However, there are trade-offs such as potential loss of creative control or maybe revenue sharing obligations. So here's the big question. Is your podcast strength lying in its content alone or are you truly focusing on building a community? The strength of your podcast lies in not just the episodes you release, but in the relationships you build around it. The more you engage, the more you serve your community, the more sustainable your growth can be. That's it. Shoot me some questions in the comments. DM me on Instagram. Subscribe on the channel for more.